Okay, guys, good evening. So let's do a quick sound test, everyone. Sound, and we are going to do the camera. Travis, John, at any time, if I fade in the sound or anything, let me know, okay? No problem. <laughs> at least you can tell me tonight. <laughs> we don't have to go for 15 minutes talking to myself like I do on YouTube at when my mic goes to crap. So... Everybody, we're going to try to talk about two of the most important things to help you be successful, to be a better investor and trader. This is stuff that I am still, you know, at 53 years old, refining, refining. I think uh, it's a journey where we will never stop, right? And and when a trader thinks he got it, and it's it's the beginning of the end. You know, um, I remember... Um, a trader, John Pennell, in our room years ago, that was 72, 73 years old, something like that. He was an old trader in Texas. Every morning he was coming, was spending 30 minutes doing his analysis. He was looking at new ways to be better and better. So even John, you know, this is really where it hit me. Like this thing never will end. You know, you will. It's like being a better chess player, a better tennis player a better at anything in life, you know, you never arrive, you know, especially in trading, especially when you do day trading, this is when you arrived in your mind, that's the beginning of the end. That's, that's where it goes the other way. Okay, so hopefully, um, we'll be able to help you. I mean, John is here with us tonight. John has been trading for how long have you been trading for John? Well, on and off for a little, a little over 10 years. 10 years. Travis, how many years? Yep, I just, uh, this is my 10th year as well. So 10, 10, and 30. We have 50 years of, of gems to share with you guys and all 40 stuff too that will help you, okay? So number one, mindset is going to be a lot better. Your emotions, your oversizing, your over trading, right? Your risk management, if you use automation, a lot better. And believe me now, compared to when I started in prop firms, you know, 30 years ago, where the split was 50%, that's number one, now it's 90%. When I had to pass a series 55, 63, and seven at the time, now you don't even have to pass anything. You know, you pass the evaluation of the prop firms and there's guys making $18,000 a month. Uh, there was a guy on Top Step, uh, Dakota, how much he, he took, like $184,000? Yep, he, he got his account to $250,000 and then uh, did a withdrawal for $184,000. Right. And again, the beauty of those as well is you don't even use your own money, you know, you you show that you are a good trader that qualified the evaluations. And we show you, we will show you the tips and tricks to pass the evaluation. It's already posted in one of our YouTube video, day one and day two of the Zero to True Wealth in four months event and in our new free uh, Think Wealth community uh, that you have access to like 10, 20 days of videos uh, uh, of prop firm accounts, investment, automation, asset protections, tax efficiency, absolutely free, okay? Those are stuff we used to charge for. So <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the type of stuff that I wish someone would have shared with me when I started trading, because I had spent over the years, hundreds and hundreds of dollars in uh, attorney's fees per hour, like $500 an hour for asset protections, tax efficiency, uh, trust, uh, LLC, uh, irrevocable trust, how to set up your business as a trader and as an investor, the smart way with, you know, using your retirement accounts and, and all that good stuff, right? So number one, we love TradingView. Now, let's look at TradingView on a couple of tools that are free before we go through our tools. And by the way, uh, when you look at the day one of the Zero to True Wealth, I showed you which trading view plan you should take, what 
everything you know you you, you like, like 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 there's nothing layout so look let's create create a layout right and let's go this is some of the alert so let's go and let's take the yes the smp mini futures okay so we are going to remove the volume tool and I want I just want everybody to focus at a very simple level plan shot okay so a couple of tools that you have to bookmark on trading view you go here I bookmark uh the trend line the horizontal line the bookmark is when you click it becomes a star the parallel channel and look, it shows at the top here, right there. So I can use them like right there. I want to do a, a supply zone and demand zone. I go here. I do uh, another demand zone here. And I can do another demand zone here. And just that alone, it's automation for your eyes, right? Then look, then you can combine that with channels right so we're going to start from simple to difficult right and then you can figure let's say it goes from it goes to your supply demand so it goes in the channel boom it comes back here uh it becomes like a support zone like even if i extend those right there point of contact right that comes back across recross it becomes like a nice support right so then you are going to go here and you are going to do to bookmark the long position and the short positions those are like very simple free stuff that everybody in the community can get right now i use those every day so look here for the presentation we're going to look at Trading tools, candles, reversals, automation versus brand chemicals, where your brand is giving you tricks and it starts destroying your trading. Size versus automation, discipline that is being forced upon yourself by using techniques in brokers like this that allows you to impose on yourself a daily loss limit, a weekly loss limit, a weekly profit, an end of the day drawdown the same way that the professionals are expecting from you. So protect yourself from yourself, especially if you use your capital, okay? And by the way, I treat the prop firm accounts capital like it's my capital, but the difference is I don't have the same stress. Instead of thinking, shit, I just blew out $10,000 today. Of my money is like, oh, geez, I just lost my funded account. And now I have to go back again into the loop of getting evaluated and passing the funded accounts and getting paid. And with the world that we live in, <laughs> in case you didn't realize since you last saw me, it's a little crazy out there. <laughs> and this is a skill that you want to master. It might take you three months, four months, a year, two years. But when the shit, excuse my French, of the economical cycle will hit the fan, I don't know if it hits the fan after the election or in four years, see, I, I am a big study of market cycle from Howard Marks. I'm thinking 2027, 2029, like 100 years ago, we are going to have a really, really bad employment situation, housing situation, commercial real estate situation. So now, that we are in la la land and that they print money and they are, they're going to decrease rates and that they are pumping asset. Now is the time to really get ready. Yes. And you have so much automations and stuff to help you combat a lot of the demons of trading, a lot of the evil stuff going on here in your chemicals, your dopamine, your endorphins. And we'll talk about that, right? Now, of course, Someone that has a W-2 job during the day and you have a job, you know, you are going to do it differently than someone who is a full-time trader like us. 
But you have to understand that we have simplified things a lot these days. I have only two buckets. In the old days, I used to have three pyramids, pyramid of day trading, pyramid of swing trading, and pyramid, the big pyramid of the long-term investing. These days, we have only two pyramids. We have the day trading, but the beauty is you cannot lose this pyramid because it's not my money. It's other people's money. It's the prop firm accounts money where we trade ES and Q futures, right? And by the way, it's 23 hours out of 24. So a lot of people in prop firms that I know, you know, even in our community, they have jobs. They come on and between 9 p.m. and 11.30, they trade the gold or they trade the NASDAQ. That's it. Some of them wake up at 4 a.m., 3 a.m. at the uh, European sessions, and they trade the 3 a.m., 7 a.m., and they go to work. So the, there is space for you to still do that, even if you have a job. And I recommend you keep your job until you can prove that you can be like that guy, get consistent payout across multiple prop firms. And, and, and it's a little bit like stocking. If you have within a year an account funded at firm one, firm two, firm three, and here you can copy five accounts, here you can copy 10 accounts, and here you copy three accounts, guess what? You have 18 accounts. 18 accounts where you are going to trade one or two NQs, maybe three. That means you have access to at least 36 NQs. Me, when I trade futures, I only use $25,000 which means I don't trade more than two NQs, usually maybe three sometimes. And I keep on adding to my winners, of course, so sometimes I might get four or five max maybe because I keep on scaling if we are crazy trend like today, right? But generally speaking, right? This is not going to be efficient. And if one day I blow up, it's not if, but when I'm going to blow it up, like most traders, but this situation here is a lot better because I could blow up all my accounts on firm one and still have access to 13 contracts on firm, firm two, firm three. And this is what me, John, and Travis do. So we do that all day long, like professionally, we do that and reinvest all our money this time, all our money. Besides, I have a little of an option account that I use still for my SPY trades because I love those zero DT puts only, only with small amounts. Like these days, I don't trade with more than five to seven thousand dollars those because I know I don't want to buy more than ten to one hundred contracts. And if I buy them between fifty cents and a box, that means that I have between one hundred contracts and seventy contracts. It's plenty enough to trade the SPY, right? Everything else, it's in the long term with the LLCs, the trust, the real estate, you know, the companies, right? All the stock portfolio, the quarter million dollar portfolio that I showed you online with just retirement accounts, right? This, everything is reinjected in assets. Everything is reinjected in assets. And all those assets compound tax-free or tax deferred, okay? So I don't want you to go, think that we are just one trick pony doing the day trading, day trading. No, we use the day trading to fill the income bucket because this the, that's the problem with trading. And, and I think Travis and John could agree with that is that trading is the, day trading is the hardest, easiest money you can make. Yeah, Meaning it, that it's so hard to be consistent. It's so hard for your mind and your this and your that and your this. This is why we need to talk about automation. But this is the easiest place that you're going to wreck a thousand to twenty thousand dollars in a day. Because you're not going to get that even being an attorney. Okay. I've I've heard it said before that trading, day trading is the easiest way to make money. It's the easiest way to lose money. The hard part is keeping it. That's it. So here's a study of brainwaves about 
focusing on doing the same repetitive stuff and focusing and, and, and how your brain works and chemical works. So I'll tell you how it works. The more you stare at the screen, the less results and the less effective you are going to be. Therefore, watching the screen all day is not the way. It's proven here by science. Your brain, it's like playing chess for 10 hours. You, you, you just cannot possibly play chess for 10 hours. So what do we need to do? We need to focus on the two trends. There is usually about two trends per day. And within those two trends, you can say to yourself, I'm going to allow only two to three trades, which means that you can scale micro. I do scale a lot of micros, but in reality, it should not be more than four to six trades per day because you should not be doing more than two trades per each trend. And as a matter of fact, I tell my guys, if you capture one trend per day, that's all you need to make a living. You know, there's a guy on YouTube, you know what he does? It's it's like boring, 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 but consistent. He put a five points NQ stop loss, which is crazy. You need to be crazy accurate. And he puts a 10 point profit. So that means he's risking here 100 to make 200. And every day, he does one to two trade or three, and that's it. Hits the goal, is done. Every day. Now you see today, NQ made 400 points. He just won 10 points. That's not really the way I trade because I am really good at keeping runner because I'm getting <laughs> older. So getting in, getting out very fast is, is I don't have the reflex anymore. But I do set some targets at 15 NQs and then let some runner to the next probability power indicator. Now, let's look at some stats for the month of July, if you don't mind. Here is one of the top step account. It's my entire month of July. And I was in vacation. So in, in uh, the first week and a half of July, I was not even around. And when I'm around, and when I am not around, the last thing that I do is trade. Take care of my family. So all of this, I was not around. Then some days I go to Tradeovate using Tradeovate, the Tradeovate broker with other prop firms that I will let you know when you come to the Think World Differently and share with you. Because they change all the time. Sometimes we dedicate ourselves to one prop firm and then we dis we realize they are a scam, they don't pay, okay? Well, if they don't pay, I'm not certainly going to recommend that to you, okay? This is stuff. So we make sure we get payout from those, then we recommend them to you. So I had incredible success on this uh, account in July. I had like eight trades here, uh, 21 here, seven here, two here. 45 here, but look what happened. I'm starting to make a lot more trades here two days ago. When I see that, it's part of your rules in mastering your mind. You need to stop trading this again because you are one day away to blow up this again. It doesn't look that way because I got one, two, three, four, five days, all green, right? But it is, it is absolutely that way. And I'll show you in the statistics how it reflects and how we have to, even me, still uh, after all those years combat that. So I showed you the stats. Initially, the stats last week was incredible for this account. So you can see the entire month of July. And by the way, this is this was my better, my best account of July. So like it's said, uh, there's no BS. I'm not tell, trying to tell you all my accounts are like that. This is literally, that was the best numbers and I wanted to prove something to you. And the something was last week, I was making 1726 on this account for the month. Mind you that those are five accounts. So I have five accounts, I can copy the accounts. I can do whatever with this pro firm, I can have five. Other pro firms, I can get 20. Some firms, I can get three. Some firms, you get one. So. And by the way, it doesn't matter how many you can get. I'll tell you, the this is BS. 
The most important is who pays you. That's it. At the end of the day is, do you get payout? Are they paying you on time? Are they not finding ways to not pay you and stuff like that? So I had a, uh, uh, that day a 100% win ratio. I had 71% win ratio over 38 trades. I had a profit factor that was completely nuts of 4.66, right? I had a, a, a average win to loss ratio almost to 2 to 1, 1 1.9. I mean, every ratio was crazy. But then I did the 42 trades right there, right? And made the $832. But look how it drops my stats now. Now look at my stats. 56% for the account. Profit factor dropped from four something to 1.3. Best, uh, the average win to average loss dropped from 1.9 to one. But you still make a new high in the account. But this automation allows me to have a warning. It's a warning I need to be careful because my stats goes to like this, even though my net liquidity goes up. It means be careful, you over trade it. So now what's happening in your mind? Because we're talking about mindset and then I'll, I'll, I'll put John and, and, and Travis talking and then we'll continue talking about the same idea as you grow and expand from day trading to investor to playing the entire cycle, you know, of uh, three years to seven years, right? So your mind here is like, I'm green, I'm green, I'm green, I'm green. Let's push a little bit more here, right? Let's push. Let's push a little bit more size. That's where the mind starts playing tricks, you know? So you have the dopamine coming up here. Dopamine coming up, dopamine three, three days in a row of green, green, green. Even with the two days rest, I screwed up. I didn't screw up in the piano. I screwed up in the process. I'm supposed to do less trades. We have a very clear process of how many trades a day we're supposed to do. What's the TP, the profit target? What's the stop loss? So when you start over trading, your stop loss and your TP keeps on being hit and you do more micros that you would like to, your PNL for the day starts going like this until you come back and finally finish and, and, and trust your skills to finish green. But here's what I know by experience. One, two days of brain chemical coming down from a three-day win and I overtrade on Monday. That tells me you need to take the week off from this account. Because what will happen? If I keep on trading this account, since I have many accounts across different problems, if I keep on, I'm going to destroy this account. Okay? Now, thank God we will show you after I put Travis and John, there's ways and the platforms that we use, we can control ourselves against ourselves. And I'll show you what I do in relationship to the um, prop firm's requirement. Uh, guys, do you have anything to add to what we just talked about? Travis? John? Uh, nothing really to add. Um, I think that's, you, you hit that home pretty well. Okay, John? Yeah, I mean, I think that's uh, a great explanation. It, it's easy to get caught up in a series of wins, and then you think you're a lot better than you are, that you can take uh, unreasonable sizes and amount of trades and uh, multiply those prior day's gains quickly and easily. And then it nine times out of ten doesn't work. And, and the stats, guys, showed you everything. 
in the eye of a non-trade trader tonight in this room, this looks like a good day, but it's a shitty day. In the eye of a trend trader, this day is a great day because I was adding to the same one trend and I was done. Here I had to fight. And you can see, see, this is okay. This is over trading a little bit. This is okay. This is okay. So you got to be careful when your stats shows that because your stats will, will lead you to everything on a daily basis. And now the stats are very, very advanced. I mean, look, you can look by your calendar. You can look by your average win and your average loss. Let me show you another one now, trade of it. So this is trade of it. Most of the prop firm accounts use trade of it. So if they don't use like the top step X platform, most of them you have access to trade of it. So look here. If you look at trade of it here, look, look all the stats you get, you get as well. You know, your, your gross profit, your how many winning trades and losing trades, how many total trades you've done. What's your win ratio? 62%. And by the way, 62% is great because I'm going to show you in the presentation that if you stick at a 50%, you can even be between 40 and 50% at a two to one ratio and still be a great trader, guys. The problem is when you are between 30 and 40% and you do one to one risk ratio, this is where your probability of ruining yourself is coming. Ideally, I prefer three to one, and this is in relationship to the probability power indicator, uh, calculator, ages, and supply and demand zone. So look all the automations that we have now. We have fantastic reporting. Look, it tells me how long did I stay on average on my winning trade, nine minutes and 53 seconds, nine, nine hours on this one, 53 minutes, right? This probably was my personal account. The average losing time an hour 29. But these days when I do the prop films, I know my matrix. I know. As a matter of fact, the same on um, top step. Top step gives you the, the, the matrix uh, where you get most of your winner, where you get most of your loser. We have incredible automation and matrix to improve our cell phone. And then we use our probability power indicator and divide on a weekly chart, you know, support, resistance, edges, you know, probability power trend down, down, down on NASDAQ, you know, the huge, power, huge probability from the top, sell on purple, buy on blue, I'll show you. Yeah. And then, so did you, we went from day trading to looking at weekly stuff for the swing trader to the, the economical cycle. Where are we in the economical cycle? Are we going for another three, four years or are we at the end there completely euphoric and we have not experienced yet again anxiety denial? Well, we just came from 2021, 2023 where everything was bad for the market. They are going to decrease rates. So the hope is that whoever wins the election, you know, hopefully the best candidate for the market, <laughs> I don't care, but the best candidate for assets, right? Uh, will will help us, right? Because all this automation, see, buy on blue, sell on purple, allow me to buy a uh, con base at 75 on the quarter million portfolio. I'll show it on many videos, right? Here's the quarter million portfolio. We were up 34%, 34% on our retirement accounts as the, as the beginning of June. And I have to give you an update now, even after this big drop in NASDAQ, uh, I think we're still okay. I think we're still up from that, actually, right? Yeah. Um, you can see um, here all the position I own in all the retirement accounts. You can take a screenshot right now and you'll figure the cost basis. You'll figure incredible cost basis on a lot of the stuff. Uh, only as of June, one, two, three losing position out of all the losing the, the position using the probability power indicator. And the scanner, you know, and all of this is being done automatically while I do Christmas with my family in Florida, you know. We 
went for Christmas and the portfolio grows and grows and grows because a lot of the buys were done at the low in October. Look here, the Meta. I bought Meta on November 2022 at the low of 118. It was 500 something after the earnings today. Uh, on uh, March 23rd, I bought Meta for um, 206. And I still own these 10 shares as of today. Same here on Coinbase. There's been one of the best trade using automation and the probability power indicators, right? Which is patented, you know, it's right there, you know. Patent office right there, you know. So a lot of people which don't say, oh Mark, this is bullshit. Well, people advertise AI, AI, right? I want you to see my own address, but look, there we go. So you're right there. And then of course the patent is right there, right? And then of course the design is inside the patent, the multiple designs, you know, the research, you know, they, 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 they research all the competitions. It's very unique. And this is the stuff that has helped us in automation. This is the work of 30 years, pretty much. You know, I had the Pro Tools before. We put everything and that's how we got Coinbase uh, cost basis really at a very attractive things by doing automation. I, I, can you guys see the charts again, John and Travis? Yep. Yeah, we have your, we have your screen again. Here. Yeah. You're back here and look, you can see the cost basis of uh, Convex here, 75. Yeah. Now, where is it? My cost per share here. 75, 74, 65, June, September, 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 October. Literally bought this stuff at the low, guys. And I still own 50, I think I have 55 shares of Coinbase now, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, it's there. It'll tell you the update from the update from uh, June. And I have to give you the update from July. But if we zoom, I think I have Coinbase 55 shares here. And you can divide this number cost basis 49.19 divided by 55 and you'll see how much I paid for that. Should not be a lot more than 78, 75 and it's 200 something, right? Palantir, we crush Palantir. On Palantir, we have a cost basis of 14, 18. It's 27 right now. So it's a lot of stuff we call. We also have some losers. Look, Walgreens has been a, a, a bad one for me. Um, yeah, Walgreens, Intel, I don't care. I think I'm going to keep it long enough that I have, I will have a double on, on, on Intel. So it's, you have to be patient. So all of this is automation. So what are the principles of automation and being able to survive? Because trading is hard. I, I trade at least two hours per day, guys, at least. I keep an eye on the market in the afternoon and I put my bracket and I do my things. You know, I have companies to run. I have kids, I have five kids. See what I mean? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have the time to, to babysit and watch everything. And that's where the automation is. So let me show you some of the automation. But before we do that, I want to show you. Statistics proves that if you have a two to one ratio, you are going to barely be profitable. So I always try to see from my entry to my target using the probability power indicator, do I have enough space for a two to, a two to one or three to one? I don't care if it's a scalp and I don't care if it's a day trading or a position trading or long-term investment. Everything that I do needs to be three to one. So like for instance, let's go back to the Coinbase that I bought at 65 in June. All right, if I can find the charts here. So let's take one shot of the probability power indicator candle. Let's go back where I bought it June 22nd. The beauty of, of also of TradingView is there's not a lot of BS here. The reason, uh, the reason there's not a lot of BS is because look, I come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I look at uh, 
June 22nd. So here, around here. This is where I bought. So I bought when the probability calculator was at 66%, right? I bought when the probability division of her full version, not the light version, because a lot of you got the light version, but the full version showed me a 672% chance of making money, uh, of return on investment. So from here to the edge here, there's a 672% return on my money. Now here's the three to one. This is where the automation comes in. You go on trade of eight, uh, on, on trading view, sorry, because this is where the tools are. You get into the long, you go into the long here and you say, okay, buy on blue, sell on purple with Mark's tools. I'm going to put the stop loss right there at the edge of the calculator, right there at this 35. And I enter like here, this 53 and look here. Now is the target. It's a 20 to one risk ratio. Is that answering? Is that answering the three to one requirement in the automation? So it answers the question and says yes. And you can practice with the replay. And now look what I do. Buy one share. Okay, let me take all the crap out so you can see. And now let's do the replay. And by the way, it's not me just showing what happened. It's I have that position in my portfolio, guys. This is undeniable. I have 55 shares of Coinbase, you know, with the cost basis of 9,000, whatever, divided by 55. So this trade is the exact trade I've taken. And you can see the tools in action, the automation in actions to show. This is not scalping. This is not swing trading. This is real accumulation of wealth. Why? Because now that I have, let me show you the sureties on the cake now. If I have 55 shares now and come based within the next 10 years, do a 10 for one or 20 for one splits like NVIDIA. Now I have 1,100 shares of Coinbase. And then it, let's say it goes back again to 500. Bam, half million dollars, just that. Just that position, those 55 shares invested 3,000 whatever at the time, right? That has a cost basis what, of 9,000 could be potentially one day in terms of real wealth accumulation, tax deferred and tax free half million dollars. That's it, it's a fact. So you take that position, you go here, you say, okay, because Coinbase 55,000 divided by my cost basis of 49.19. Let's make a calculation. I'm not that good. Yes. Cannot do this type of, I'm, I'm pretty good in math, but 49.19 divided by 55 is not, not my thing. Cost basis 89. 89. So I must have had more than the ones I showed you. Oh yeah, because those were how many shares? 35. And I bought 20 more, so 89. 89, and the thing is $224. Right? $224. If I am right, it will be 320. It will be 450 one day. And if I'm right as well, I will get a lot of splits. And 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 doing this again and again is very, very powerful. So you remove a lot of the stress, a lot of the emotions, because the probabilities are on your side. I had 60, 80. Look, look at here the other trade of Meta that I bought at 118. Look if you put the replay at 118 where this stop was. In 2022, I bought it at 118. Where was it? 
2022, 180, around here, right? 2022, October 180. So you went down a little bit just. No, this is 130. But look, I still own the position. The position went bloom, bloom, and I went 18, became 500 with an 86% chance of success. So the point of the automation, it allows you to be patient, especially if you do investments. If you invest and do swing trading or long-term investing like this, and you are, you are you have a job, you are busy, you don't want to look at it, this is great automation for you. Because it's like, okay, the, the stats are with me. I love the company. I love the product they do. I love the balance sheet, the cash to debt. I love the, 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 the it's real revenue, real people. You know, like unlike crypto, even though I have some crypto, those are real company, real product, real money producing company and equity. You get an equity in the company. The key is, do you enter here on purple at 400 and lose two thirds of your money or do you buy on blue and make four times your money over a period of 10 months without stressing? It's like you buy, You, I have not touched those positions guys. I'll do an update on my position. I did sell the Walgreens though, right? So it's very, very, very powerful. Now on the day trading, same idea, you know? One shot, the one hour set up on buy on blue, sell on purple for the NASDAQ. And then we have the cloud within the buy on blue, sell on purple division offer. We have the probability, we have the power trend. And then on the right side, we put second charts where we look at the cloud and the cloud follows the cloud follows the power trend box, the net buyers here, see? Institutional net buyer, major net buyer, minor. And so all that automation helps you guys during the day to be more automated, okay? So what it does, it does a couple of things, you know? So let's look at automation. With the mindset. By the way, let me see if I can get a document. Let me see if I can get a document with our logo. Because so many people take our stuff all the time, guys. It's not even funny. I mean, it's a compliment, but at the same time. <laughs> um, let me see. And and I'll, I'll have John and Travis participate if they want to on this. Because this, this is regardless if you use our tools or not. Even if you use your own tools, your own process, I think all of the stuff we're going to discuss here. So what have we talked about? We've talked about the dopamine, the tools on trading views. So I want to go from the beginning here and well, clean slate from the beginning. Number one, investing and trading will affect your dopamine and endorphins. I don't, I'm not sure I'll spare, spare endorphins properly, but- Yep, you got it, that's it. That's it, okay. yep. So you want to affect endorphins and You need to step back and rebalance a great winning strike, a great winning streak, like this, you know? And must stop with automation to protect yourself on the day trading by doing the following things and and we can 
she has a conversation following. A daily limit, daily loss limit imposed on yourself on trade of it. Let me show you. On trade of it of the top step X platform. Now, look, so long the the the, the prop firm has trade of it, I'm okay. If a prop firm say, Mark, I'll pay you every day and you start tomorrow morning, I'm going to be okay. But in my mind, I'm like, Ugh, I wish I had some automation that protects myself against myself, even after 30 years, guys. We are not robots, we are human beings. I repeat, we are not robots, we are human beings. So you cannot trust all this BS AI, oh, buy my robot AI for 10,000, 20,000, 50,000. It'll do all the hard work for you. It'll pass the prop firms for you. It'll do all the work for you. Yeah, everybody wants to do nothing and have everything for nothing, but that's not how life works. But you can have discretionary automation that you overlap, you overlap the 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 automation like we use the probability power indicator you can use whatever you want because it's unique there's only 350 users in the world that will get access to those tools and that's it because i have a contract with institutions clients that i have that that's it 350 licenses for one year no more so you interlock that discretionary powerful tools with controlling your mind and your discipline with this. How do you do it? So let me show you. So here is trade of it. Look what they do. So on trade of it, I can do this. I can say, if you look at the, the let's look at what the professional prop firm expects from you on a 50K account or 150K account, but let's do 50K. So Google, let's say top step. That's it, just top step. I go here. You look at their criteria for $50,000 account. They tell you, we don't want you to lose, to get access to the $50,000 portfolio. We don't want you to lose more than $2,000 from your starting capital. So the max drawdown is 48K. And they don't tell you here, but they have a daily loss limit of 1,000. So you as a smart trader that is going to scale micros and use automation and the processes we do, you are going to go say, to practice first for four weeks, master trading view, master entering brackets, like I showed you three to one ratio brackets and stuff like that, stop loss, profit target, all of that good stuff. And, and I'll show you again on the charts because that's automation. When I put a bracket, there's a TP, which is a take profit target and a stop. I can essentially put that trade and go. You can go. If I'm comfortable with the risk, the size. I don't need to look at it. If I want to go to the kitchen, do a co coffee cup or my internet goes down, it's fine. The TP, the total stop, and the target are in place. I don't even need to break my head. And, and by the way, some of my best trade guys ever is when I go in bed, I put a trade, I wake up, whether it's crude, gold, or uh, NQ, and ES, and I wake up and I'm like, oh, $500 while I sleep. Some of my worst trade is the one that I'm in, out, in, out, out, watching every tick, right? So this is very profound what I'm telling you. So now you have the 48K max drawdown, you have the 1K daily limit. Look, you can practice the requirement from those guys right there. You go here, daily loss limit, you could put 1K, but look what I suggest is if top step or anybody say, hey, you cannot lose more than 1K per day, otherwise we'll shut you down for the day. Why don't you put a third of that or half of that, I like 500 on a 50K account, that's 1%. So I put 1% here. Then I go down, I go down, 
and I'm going to do the end of the day drawdown exactly as the requirement of the prop firm, 2000. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is go down, go down, go down. And you see, uh, no, go up. You see this thing, go lock risk setting. If trading is locked, you question mark, you click here. And they explain to you the lock setting feature will lock the account until the end of the trading session. In case you are tempted to go back to the settings and like, I'm going to play that, you lock that and that's it. You, you, you stick 2000, you click save and that's it guys, to do this stuff. Is I want you to automate everything every time. Every time you automate this stuff and top step does the same, then after that, your mind is more relaxed. I trade a lot more relaxed knowing that no matter what, if today I over trade, and no matter what, if I tilt, what is tilt again? Remind me, because <laughs> I know the trade. I, it's like blowing up type of thing. I'll be yeah, right back. Once it's again. tilt is when your when your emotions consume you. So like you're you're talking about the the dopamine and endorphins, and of course there's uh there's cortisol and you know the the negative emotions, the negative hormones too. Um, going on tilt either way, and you can go on tilt when you're really exciting, excited and exuberant. And you overtrade because you know, like you talked about with your account, um, you overtraded, you made you made a, a great profit, but you're in your emotions were kicking in. You you traded on tilt that day, uh, over trading, even though it was a good day. And same thing with the negative emotions. You can trade on tilt if you're having some losses, getting some frust you know, getting frustrated um with some losing trades, or if you have some FOMO and you're you're missing, you know, the fear of missing out on something. Um, that's, that's when you're until, when you start forcing trades, start revenge trading, start over trading, things like that. Uh, for everyone, like for instance, on the 50 K account, do you do, what do you do? Like if you are on trade of eight or top step, do you change the daily list, uh, loss limit? Like I do less than what they want. Absolutely. Well, uh, first of all, I'll, I'll mention, um, you know, we talk about top step having the daily loss limit and they, they are working to, they are going to be eliminating that. And they've said, they said today, actually, um, probably in the next 30 days, they'll, they'll drop that. So they're going to, they're going to make everybody responsible for their own loss limit, which it, this is why this is very important. Um, yeah. To, that, to that, manage that, risk. By the way, that doesn't change the fact you still should put five hundred dollars. Exactly. No, that that's a, that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> it's this is why this is so important. We need to limit ourselves. And um, so to answer your question, yes, I absolutely put in a, a personal loss limit. And on the fifty k, um, I originally I had been doing uh four hundred dollars on the loss limit. What I what I did um was I just divided it up by five days. I gave myself if I have five losing days in a row, I lose the account is kind of the kind of the parameters are I set. So uh, I originally started with a four hundred dollar loss limit on the fifty k. Um, and right now, I have all three size accounts that I'm trading. So I'm trying to see if five hundred will work for all of them. So um at this point, i'm I'm trading with a five hundred dollar loss limit on a fifty k. Do you do it differently? what do you, do you set a daily loss limit that is less than what they allow you as well? Uh, well, I'm on the rhythmic uh, platform. I know it can be done through there as well, but I personally have not used that. But uh, after listening to all the information tonight, I'll definitely uh, start exploring that. Are you which which platform are you using? Ninja or Quant Tower? The rhythmic. Uh, I got the rhythmic going to Motive Wave. Oh, Motive Wave. Okay. Oh. So you you don't do you don't do any of the prop of Trade of it? I have not currently no. I just own Motive Wave for a long time. And Rhythmic's the only connection that feeds to it. Practice on Trade of Ed. I think you love the uh, the risk features. Okay. I think I think you love it. Um, and even Top Step is great. I mean, Top Step as a what I like with Top Step is they have a lot of features. When you're like, is it enough for the day? Is it enough for the day? I I like myself. Like they have one where you click and you can only trade for the day. Like you literally said to yourself, well, it's it's 11 a.m., I'm done. You put an alarm, you lock yourself, you go. So they, they, they put an, in top of the daily loss limit, in top of the max drawdown, 
And in top of the bracket, they have also a feature where you can click and you lock yourself for the day. So those, those are stuff, guys, that helps you against your, your mind, you know? Uh, of course, there was John that was talking, and, and I want to do a session about nutrition, sports, stress, meditation. That's, all of this is very important, you know? Don't get me wrong. But what is going to lower your stress, I have a stronger mind in trading, is I have the right size, the right target, the right uh, uh, risk ratio, you know? Um, the right support resistance, all the stuff we were showing you, the, the right simple tools that can help you. Because look, for instance, let's look at today on the day trading side. Up, up, blue, 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 blue. It's uh, 7.42 a.m., okay? That's the replay. Well, when you come here, you can simply put like supply zone, demand zone here. See, it? you don't even need our tools here, if you don't want to. This already was kicking since yesterday, the probability power indicator. Cross, recross, edge of blue, bottom of also of the down channel. It was, it was the rebound was there also the, we have a, I think called the power volume indicator was at extreme. Also you come this morning, if you are a trader and understand risk on, risk off, bonds going up, which is good because that pushes the rate down. So bond up, VIX down, you know, and when we came this morning, the uh, dollar was going down. So this is risk on day, which means market is flying. So you look at pullback for three to one risk ratio. So like here, for instance, on this one, the way you structure it, right, is you take your long, so let's get out of this one, this topic here. And you get your long, and the same, you go from your demand zone on your short-term chart, you go here, this is your stop loss, uh, right at the bottom, right? And your target here, your first target is the open line from the previous date, right there. And look what I have. I have a, a risk ratio. Let's go again. Buy. We go here. Here we go. Here we go. Up. Here is the target. And we we'll put the stop. Let's say uh, it was 70, 80, right there. Let's say. And look, you have a two, two point eight to one ratio right there on your first target. But when you like look at my left chart, you get the big picture of the zones. And look, it tells you all of this is the target right there for the day. And all the support for the day is right there. So after I clear that, 19,000, 19,100, it's, it's all about going to the other side of the calculator, go to the institutional zone. And this is the left chart allows you to keep runner. So like, let's say you buy three, four micro, you do the 2.8 to one ratio, but let's say you have another NQ. So let me take my pen for the automation. This is your first one from here to there and you're out. And that's your second one from here to there. But a lot of traders don't know to hold 200 points. But if you have, you know the trend here, up, 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 cloud, up, cloud, blue, almost all day, damn it. But if I play the replay, you'll see. From 7.40 a.m., you buy. Uh, but, but, but two, play the replay. And you can see how this stuff, the, the, the blue cloud is behaving. I even use it on uh, 30 seconds and uh, uh, 15 second charts. If I want to do like those scalpers that you see on YouTube that grab uh, 10 
points, 15 points on the NASDAQ. And by the way, 10 points on NASDAQ is 200 bucks on a full NQ. 15 points is $300. So it's not something to spit. If you can make $300 consistently for 20 days, it's an extra $6,000 in your life. It's an extra $72,000. That's more than what my wife makes as a, a, in the healthcare. She works in healthcare, right? So it's a salary for some people, guys. It's nothing to spit her. But look what happened today. 2NQ was $13,000. $13,000. So when you mix automations, profit target, stop loss, three to one risk ratio, and you mix everything with this risk parameter that I was showing you, you really, really have a great, great, uh, you overly probability on your side. Guys. Uh, and you know what? I've done this for 30 years and I'm telling you, over trading one day is impossible to stop. That is the only way to stop it. Some, I, I, I love, you know, I come, I'm going to show you something. Let's take another whiteboard. I have, so, so this, this part will help you a lot and then we'll call it a night. I practice ALT and I use, and I use a navigator board. By the way, if you want to understand the entire four hour navigator board and risk management masterclass of 2023, which we are giving you absolutely for free. Make sure zero to true wealth. I think it's in the zero to true wealth as well. It's absolutely free, guys. I mean, we, we literally give it to you. I mean, this, this stuff, I wish someone would have helped me when I started. So look, you have access to the community. We just started that like three weeks ago that you can, I went out of Discord. I hate Discord. It's crap. It's full of crap people. It's nobody's engaged. Nobody's knowledgeable. Here, we you have a lot of, very good traders, guys. Peter Guardino, Travis, like a lot of guys that are engaged. Uh, you have the classroom here. Look how easy it is to content, the zero to consume from zero to true wealth. You click here. You have the day one, day three, day four of the uh, zero to true wealth. You have the automations events that we've done as well. Part one, part two. And then um, maybe on... This one, trading risk management, if you unlock this, you have the entire risk management stuff. And there's a lot of good stuff that will help you with your daily routines, your dopamine and all the stuff that we've talked. So I'll give you the link. If you want to check it out, it's free. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain to join this community really, because we also, it's not just about day trading. It's all about investing. We have a session on investing. This is becoming like my trading journal. I post some of my trades. I post uh, on my day. I say, I did that crappy. I did that great. I over traded. Like, 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 like we, we are trying to keep ourselves accountable to each other and, and, and put some, some, some also stuff about like here, like I say, FOMC is bullish going forward, blue all day. So we know within the next three months, you know, when you are at the market tanking, I want to add into some of my position on Google, on uh, Amazon, uh, on Palantir, on uh, Coinbase, on AMD, on Nvidia. Everybody say, oh, it's overhyped, it's overhyped. I, I absolutely don't think AI is overhyped. It's for real. It's going to be extremely helpful for military deployment. My son is in the military, everyone, and believe me, I would prefer in the next four years that my son stays safe and that there's an AI robot <laughs> that goes and fight instead of my son. You know, If he has to, he will go, but I, he's very smart. We need to keep the smart people here, you know? So I love you all. I hope it was helpful. There's a lot more, you know, it's hard to share those stuff in one night, uh, but I'm sure sh uh, John, and Travis will agree that you will never fully master. You know, I do this alt spreadsheet every day 
I come in the morning. I even told my guys I was exhausted yesterday and, and because I woke up at 4.30. And this really, you see if you are hungry, angry, lonely. You know, nobody teaches you those stuff, man. Lonely and tired. And if they do, they, they take a lot of stuff from you. You know, you, you have to monitor yourself. I have a check mark. How many trades? Each time I take a trade, I don't have the time to put my entry and exit because now automation takes care of all your entry and exit. Like on top step, you can review all your trade every day. And you can, I think, even journal them, like put some notes why you screwed up and everything by day, right? In the calendar, Travis? Yeah, you can. It's 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 really great. You can, um, on the calendar, you can journal each individual day. And now you can actually journal each individual trade as well. Right. So even though I, I check, okay, in my navigator belt, one, two, three trades. But before you know it, I buy one MNQ and it goes my way. I buy two, I buy three, I buy four, I buy five. And then I sell two, I sell three. That is counted as one trade each time. So sometimes you see 45 trades, but it could have been 24 or 45 MNQ that I bought on the way up and sold on the way down. Okay? So you have to remember that. That's how they count. You buy one MNQ, you sell one MNQ, that's a trade. You buy one MNQ plus you buy another one as the train goes your way. So look here. I buy one here, I buy one here, I buy one here, I buy one here. It's going to show like, let's say I have five trades, but, but to me, it's not true. I just scale in the same trend, trend, remember? Trade versus trend. If I can get one trend per day, then, then you are a big winner, right? So uh, hopefully that was helpful guys tonight because no matter what, automation protects your mind, your, your mindset to, 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 to keep another day, live another day, go and fight again your account the next day, whether it's a prop funded account, an evaluation account, whether it's your real money. You need, you, you need to play your system over time, you know, and you need to go slow. If you guys look at the, the, some scalper on YouTube, that's why literally they take 10 points out of 500 points and they are done. They shut down. But they have the discipline to shut down, right? So we talked about a lot of safeguards to help you with your mindset in trading and investing now, especially trading, investing using the probability power indicator, buy on boost, on purple. I don't sell until I am from one top to the next top, from one edge to the next edge. I don't even sell. I don't move. So you know I mean, then I'm like, should I sell? Should I reduce? Right? Should I sell a cover call? If you are into options, income cover call, selling deep out of the money put when it comes on the blue, you know. But the only thing you are not going to be able to do is stop for the day. If you don't know to stop for the day, that's why the isn't it? This why the guy, the CEO from uh, Top Step, put that. That button. <laughs> yeah, the you, you mentioned the the lockout button on the Top Step X platform where you lock yourself you you lock yourself out at any point in the day, whether you're down, whether you're up. The idea of it is if you're up money, um, you stop yourself from over trading, you lock yourself out of the account. But yes, it was it was implemented because he wanted that in the platform for point himself. <laughs> right? Yep. Point yep. Yeah. For himself. Yeah. And, and it's smart, but they can even improve that, by the way. They could say, uh, lock me, lock the account after, see, that, that would be a great feature, after 10 trades, 20 trades, something like this. If you look at your average trade and you know you do 20, 20, 20, 20, and you're successful, maybe you should say to the system, lock myself at 22 trades, something like that. Just an idea <laughs> for top step. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They're always they're it's a, they're always going to improve. And actually, the original um, idea was to, to just lock yourself out for a set amount of time, like even five minutes to take a break, or fifteen minutes, or lock yourself out for an hour, whatever the case may yeah, be. Yeah, but you know what? Five minutes and an hour after 
30 years doing this it's not enough to reset your dopamine well and that that's so that's why they started with lock yourself out for the entire day yeah yeah because uh, you've seen you've seen after the three days i took the weekend and then i come on monday and i bang three times the amount of trade that or at least two times the amount of let's uh, let's say that i do between 7 and 22 and i was at 45 does that make sense I mean, at the end of the day, I want to make money, guys. You know, I mean, 22, 100, you know, if I have to fight it, I have to fight it. You know, you cannot expect every day to come at 9.30 or 7 a.m., do this, and you have $500 in your bank account, you know. It's not always like that. Sometimes you have to fight for it, you know, and, 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 and I have no problem fighting for it. But you need, this is where me personally, I want to make sure that if I do fight it, I fight it within the daily loss limit parameter. Because now Mark Nicholas is not going from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Mark Nicholas is going all day fighting. And if I have to fight, I want to make sure I'm not losing more than $500 in the account. Do you see what I mean, Travis? I'm okay to fight it, but I'm not okay to... to, to I don't want to go past, obviously. That's where the daily loss limit protects you. Yeah, absolutely. Like just like you said, it protects you that, you know, we're talking about the the risk management and protecting, you know, protecting yourself from yourself. From digging. Yeah. Digging, digging a hole. Yep, exactly. Um, hey, I hope it was helpful, guys. You know, we'll do a lot more. Watch on YouTube, the day trade. So there's two YouTube channels now, day trading zones and probability power indicators. On the day trading zones tonight, we release video number three of the Zero to True Wealth Challenge. But really, if you want all of them, get into the Think Wealth Differently free community. You guys are going to love it. I mean, this thing is going to grow and grow and it's free right now. So just get into it, okay? We are going to trade a lot more live with Travis, myself, and John during the week, probably after we do the uh, uh, mentorship guys. So we do the mentorship guys around nine, we finish around 10.30. So if we go live, uh, on YouTube, we'll send you an email or we'll put, actually everything is on score right there. I will most of the people that, that, that are into what we do, you have the calendar, like tonight, for instance, people didn't have to look for email. They just go, they know, yeah, there's the mindset event. They got the reminder, they clicked here. They knew where to go. I mean, it's super well organized so that you don't miss gems or fully like tonight, and hopefully that was helpful, guys. Love you all, everybody. Take care. Travis, thanks for showing up. John, thanks for showing up. And uh, I'll let you know, guys, if I go live uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday is not my, actually, Thursday is my worst day. So some of the stats with top steps and stuff, and 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 also on trade away, you can know your worst day. My worst day is Thursdays. So I know Thursday. Be careful over trading. Love you all, everybody. Take care. Have a nice evening.